the Joy Business Van, empowered by Joy Business and supported by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. <laughs> On June 3, 2015, Ghana faced one of its worst disasters. Scores of people lost their lives from flooding after continuous rainfall. The floods were partly attributed to choked gutters, which blocked the drainage system. Richmond Osifin Pong was at the scene of the incident, among many Ghanaians devastated by the incident. That was when he took the initiative to do something about the plastic waste situation. I, I thought of finding out what can the plastics be used for and praying about it and thinking, brainstorming. I came up with uh, making flowers and other things. And then as I kept on developing the idea, I came up with these pillows and other products that you see. Pillows are stuffed sometimes with foams or cup of fibers. Stuffing pillows with recycled plastic waste is really creative. Richmond acquires the plastic waste from schools and households, but a chunk of it is bought from plastic waste collectors. Once the waste is collected, it is taken to a crushing site, which Richmond co-owns. The items are crushed until they look like shredded papers. In that state, it feels foamy. The stuffing is disinfected, then dried. It's really a simple process to make the pillows. Richmond makes a cover with the foam, then stuffs with recycled plastic waste. After getting the desired um, height or the filling, you, you complete it and seal it. So, complete sealing. Yeah, then it goes to the material. We are trying to um, be more local, that's why we are lo using local fabrics. So it goes in into it. And there you have it the pillows Richmond has branded. Eco pillows. We've been able to produce travel pillows like what's around my neck, and it's also good for long journey travels, those going to the north, Kumasi, and those traveling outside. And we also had multimedia in mind, so we made Adam TV. So this is for multimedia, and this is for Joy, Joy Prime. That's it. And we say all work and no play, so we want to produce local uh, teddy bears with local fabrics and with the same uh, plastic waste we are making the pavement block this is very strong and we plan using it for pavement and for building construction for now richmond and his team produce 50 pillows a week and that is manually his immediate aim is to acquire machinery to enable him to produce on a larger scale. I need to get access to the machines that will crush, the vehicle that will help in collecting uh, the raw materials and probably um, um, a modern sewing machine so that we could sew more of these things and solve the problem. As for response from the public, Richmond thinks it has been good so far. He runs his business, 21st Century Initiative, as a social enterprise. He uses part of the proceeds to spread his message of the need for a clean environment devoid of plastic waste. If we could um, use this waste product to manufacture these things, um, it's going to be um, a, another source of employment for the people in the East District because waste is also a problem here. The plastic waste is a big challenge. No doubt, Richmond is passionate about what he does and his initiative is certainly helping in preventing a major environmental catastrophe in future.